Uh, ho ho ho, Josh here with the Pride Productions back in UE4 with a fourth Minecraft style tutorial. We've got a big old series we ain't touched in a while. Today we're going to talk about further developing our terrain, making it a little more random, making it a little more better. We're going to make it better, a little more better. Okay, but the point is, if you guys have not watched the first three tutorials in the series, please go check those out if you don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna go, we're going to just talk about them real fast. We created a material, right? Grass on the top, dirt around the sides and on the bottom. But not only that, it's based off the absolute world position. That way it's not like tiling all crazy. You know, it's actually not just repeating. It actually looks more like it's realistically laid on there per block. You know what I'm saying? We got rid of some tiling stuff, and then we created a blueprint, which, of course, is this bad baby right here in the construction script, where we took two for loops, right, length and width, and then created two variables, frequency and height, and multiplied them and signed them all together to create some waves, and then added instances of static meshes to keep everything down, right? And that's what we've got. So we've got these variables that I can set here and select, so I can set the, the width and the length back to 50, and again, for you guys that have already watched, you already know we can do this. Oh, God, it disappeared, but I'm going to find it. Don't you worry. There it is. And, and, and like I said, and the tile size, obviously, if I set these to zero, it's just going to be flat, and I can set the tile size to maybe like 105. And you can see that every block is separate, but they're all tired, tired a little differently. And that's because we did this in here, this bad baby right here. So if you haven't watched those tutorials, guys, go check them out. Just wanted to throw that out there. But anyway, a fourth one today and check it out. We're going to further develop the random, the randomizing and just a couple other things that we can do in here. So I'm going to set it to about 50 by 50. We're going to set the frequency, the two and the height to two. And we're going to look at that. It's not doing much. Let's set it to four and four. You know what I'm talking about? Oh God. Oh God. Four and four. Okay. And there you go. You got this. That, it's not doing much. And like I said, if we, if we stretch it over 200, you know, 200 by 200. Now you're going to see that it's actually, you know, that wave, that type of sine wave that's happening is obviously happening over, but over the whole thing. But guys, it's not that random, and that's really what we need to work on because it's kind of repetitive. You know, if you if you scroll back, it's pretty obvious the type of sine wave that's going on there. So let's actually talk about that. So let's let's drop it back down to 50 so my computer can handle it because it's being a it's because it's being a butt right now. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, here we got this little spot right here, and I'm gonna set this to that. We'll leave that alone, and I got MC open right here we got the material right here and we got the we got the blueprint right here so here's what we're going to do today basically when it comes to the height and width that's fine you know so the length and the width that's fine but the way that it's actually the frequency multiplied by the height the way all this is working it's working that's great but it needs to be more random Let's talk about that. I'm going to show you one thing we need to do. We're going to take this floor and bring it way over here. And I want you to drag these bad babies, okay? And bring it over here. I want you to drag a line right here and I'll type in the word, try to try to the plus sign. You'll find a little plus sign and you can add some floats together. Float plus float plus float, bro. Okay? And I'm going to add this into that right there. You're like, well, what are we doing? Well, what's going on right now? Well, I'm going to explain that to you, okay? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to grab all this. Control C. And I'm going to put it right here, okay? Now, that means you got to make sure that these bad babies are plugged in, okay? This one goes into this one, uh-huh, and this one goes into this one, okay? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it again. Control-V again, okay? we got three of those bad babies. This one all the way up in here. This, we, got a, we got wires. we got wires everywhere, guy. I ain't going to lie to you. And the thing is, we're going to put all these in, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug all these into the plus, plus, plus. The float, plus, float, plus, float, bro. Plus and floats. Here's the problem. We're always using these same variables, frequency and height. Check out what I'm going to do. I'm going to rename these. This one is not going to be called F1, okay? And this one right here is going to be called H1, okay? Like H1? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to duplicate both of these twice. Watch me do it real fast. Ta-da! I got all kind of... What is this? What is this new variable? I don't notice if I'm deleting it. Guys, I apologize. Anyway, F1, H1, F2, H2. F3, H3. Do you see what I did there? You see what I did there? So what I'm going to do now is if you've got F1 and H1, frequency 1 and height 1 here, I want frequency 2, right? I want frequency 2 in both of these. Make sure it's plugged into both of them. And then I want height 2 here. So you already know what I'm doing. You already kind of got an idea, an idea of what I'm doing. So I'm going to take F3, frequency 3. So basically what's going on here is we're going to use different, we're going to use multiple parameters here. We're going to use three different frequencies and three different heights. And we're going to put them all together and kind of like use those. And now where we've got the yellow little eyeball all clicked, that means when we save and compress this or save and compile this, which is obviously what we're doing right now, when we go back, we're going to have all these separate variables here. Okay, so now we have F1, H1, F2, H2. Okay, so let's make this bad baby big and bad. Okay, so let's go to the link. Let's set it to 200. Hundy. I don't play around 200 by 200. We got all kind of instances. I mean, you can do the math. What's 200 times 200? A bunch, a bunch of blocks. Okay. So now what's cool about that is let's say this is set to two and let's set it to 
Let's set the let's set the height to five. That's what I'm saying. And yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Where this is super slow, I'm gonna dial it down a little bit. Instead of 200, I'm gonna do maybe a 120 by 120. Okay, we'll drop it down just a little bit. Make sure everything's working, not broken. You know what I'm talking about? We're dropping down a little bit. We'll make these a little bit, a little bit, a uh, little bit more wide. Okay, so let's just check it out. Let's go do. Uh, let's let it back to five and maybe five. Five and five is pretty cool. You can see how random that is. Well, now what I can do is I can go here and maybe set it to 3.5. Okay, on the frequency here and set this to 4.5. Okay. Well, now I've got a second frequency and a second thing kind of going over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You see what's going on right there, brah. Okay. And now what's going on is I'm going to set this one to maybe uh, three, just three, but I'm going to set it to uh, 2.75 when the height on the third one. Boom. Now it's going to add in there. Okay. Now you can kind of tell that we've really kind of changed up what's going on there. Now it gets a little more interesting. If you really wanted it to be serious, you know, you really wanted it to be weird, you could go in here and actually make it. Let me say this five. We could start adding decimals. So 5.2. Two, you know what I'm saying? You can really randomize it here. This five right here is going to be five. It's going to be 4.3. That's what we're set at 4.3 right there. We'll go to F2 and we'll set it to 3.45. We're just making sh making stuff all weird. You know what I'm talking about? And the point is, the reason they're doing this is to actually really randomize it. And we're going to do a couple more things here in just a second. I'm going to set it to 4.23. I mean, that's a weird one. And I'm going to leave 3.75 the same. But the point is, now it's really kind of just added some strange numbers in there. And kind of, kind of geeked it out for us. So now let's make that bad baby big. I'm gonna make it 200 by 200 again. Okay, it's gonna take forever to load. It's not. It's only gonna take a couple seconds. But I'm gonna make a couple more changes. So a couple more things we can do here that'll really help out the randomness of it. But we got something coming. We got it kind of working a little bit in our favor a little bit. But we can do better. Now watch what we're gonna do to make it do better. Okay, we're gonna do all kind of better. Now the thing is, I'm gonna do a couple little little tricks here. I'm being real, real picky. We got our first one right here, right? We got our second one right here. We got third one right there. Okay, so let's go back to the second one here. I want you to drag these two bad babies out right here, okay? Now, before you go into this sign, I want you to grab a little stuff. Find that multiply sign. Find that multiply sign to a float times float. You know what I'm talking about? I want to add, I want to multiply by 0.7. No, no, no. That's, that's, that wasn't a 7. It was a 9. We're going to multiply by 0.7 and plug that into the sign, okay? Now, I want you to also go down here, and instead of the top one, we're going to just copy and paste this bad baby right here on the bottom, okay? I'm going to set it to maybe 0.4, okay? I'm going to do that, okay? That's all I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to save it. It's going to take a few seconds because there's, I think, 40,000 cubes out there, and it's trying to load it, and it's like, oh, my God. But it can handle it, okay? It can, it, it, it can handle it. Just relax. But the point is, what we're doing is we're barely changing, just barely. Barely changing those numbers a little bit, and it's gonna eat. It's gonna make it a little more random. So now we're getting a couple little spots right here. You see what's going on? We've really randomized it. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking. We've really randomized it by taking six different ways. We have a we have an F1, H1, F2, H2, F3, and H3. Three different frequencies, three different heights, and we're blending them together and making changes in them. And again, you can go further with this. You can keep going. And like I said, you can add four, or you can add um, you can add different types of numbers here. You can try different types of tangents and sines and cosines if you want. Some of them I'm not gonna lie going to make it look really strange. I've tried all kinds of cool stuff, and this is what I like the most. But I want to do one more little thing here. Just one more little thing. Now, it's very important that right now, if you click on your mesh, if I go to location, you'll notice that it's at zero, zero, zero. Okay, let's, 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 let's think about that for a split second. Let's go back here, okay? Now, I, want, I want to do something just for fun, okay? I want to show you guys what you can do here. So we're in the construction script, but if you go over to the viewport, it shows our we got our block in the details panel. We got our block. Well, I'm going to rename that block, okay? I'm going to name it to... I'm going to name it grass. You know what I'm talking about? It's a grass block, and that's what it is, a block, and it's got the grass material. What I want to do is I want to right-click and duplicate that, okay? I want to duplicate I'm going to name it dirt. I'm going to have dirt, bro. I'm going to have dirt. Okay, wait, wait. the thing is it's got to be a different material. So I got grass, and I got this here. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to type in... Uh, I'll just to, to type in dirt, you guys see anything? I, yeah, I got this tree trunk material, bro. I'm going to grab that. What's it like, like a brown? Okay, we're going to make that kind of like a dirt for now. It's not fixed up and all nice and all that good stuff. But right now, I just want to show you what we can do to kind of separate the blocks. So now we have two of these. We got this, but then I'm going to have two of them. And instead of grass plugged in here, I'm going to have dirt plugged in here. Yeah, brah. Yeah. So what's going on is now we're going to have to have a condition. So we're going to need a branch, right? We're going to need that branch. You can't be scared of the branch. We're going to get it. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug these four. After we do the four loops, we'll go into a branch before we do any of this mess. Okay? We're going to do a branch before this. So what we want to do is think about this. We're going to go to the Z. We want to affect the Z. And the Z is right here. This is the, you know, the, the length and the width affect the X and the Y of the vector. But the Z is actually this mess down here that we're creating. So I'm going to pull right off here. Okay? And I'm going to basically find the old... Uh, Oh, a shift in less than, I think, is what we're looking for. You see the less than, okay? If it's less than zero, so if basically the Z is less than zero, 
I want it to actually be dirt. So if it's less than zero, which means it's true, I'm going to actually print this one. And if it's false, we'll print that one. I know they're backwards, but it's because I got grass on top. If you're really weird, you can, you can do this, guys. It's not a big deal. Good Lord in heaven. But the point is now I've got the branch that says if the Z is less than 100, I want you to make it a dirt block instead of a grass block, okay? And we're going to compile and save that. But basically what happened there is it's going to look at the Z axis while it's creating those huge waves, and it's going to check and see which one of those is under zero, which means, and, the, and where I have my mesh set to be on zero, zero, zero in the world, you'll see now that, boom, we got some dirt on the bottom, bro. You got some dirt down there. And yeah, guys, it, it's not tiled. I would have to create another material, which we didn't do. And we can do that later. And you can do it yourself or whatever. But I wanted to show you that you easily, easily, as you can tell, it's seamless. Boom, it's creating the, the next block. It's creating its dirt. So from a distance, now you've got kind of a random little, kind of, kind of some random stuff here. A lot more random than it was, okay? So now we got some dirt down there just showing you that you're creating two separate types of blocks and that's how you'd want to do it you know what i mean like if you just like in minecraft did you destroy a dirt block you want to gain a dirt block if you destroy a grass block you want to gain a grass block so in the end we'd have several different types oh shut up karen okay anyway the point is what we're going to do now is basically call it a day. Okay, you got you got a little more randomizing. H1, Z1, N1, Face1. I don't know, but the point is you got all kind of frequencies and heights. Minecraft all day, every day. You know what I'm talking about? Tutorial number four. Guys, again, if you didn't understand everything, feel free to go back to the first three tutorials and watch them to get your materials down, to get your thing here set up, and I'll explain exactly how it's done. All we're doing is adding to it. Today, we just further developed our terrain a little bit better. And next, in just a few days, I'm going to go ahead and launch another Minecraft tutorial series tutorial. Okay, and we're going to talk about this deleting and adding blocks to our train when we walk around it. You know what I'm saying? So when we when we right click, we want to pick one up. When we left click, we want to put one down. That kind of nonsense. So we'll talk about that here in just a few days, guys. I love you, miss you, Josh. Here with the Proud Productions, back in Minecraft UE4 all day, every day. Hope you guys are staying safe, man. The Corona, the COVID-19 ain't playing around. It's actually very serious, but a lot of you guys are doing the right thing. A lot of you guys are being smart. A lot of you guys are being safe, and a lot of you guys are doing what the government and the president and all the governors and the CDC and all the medical professionals have asked us to do, and thank you. We love you. Hit up Deprived Productions on YouTube. Hit up Deprived Productions on Facebook. Find Deprived on SoundCloud, Bandcamp. We're everywhere, and we love you and miss you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.